So now you've got the basics of using audio in Max OSP down, I'm going to show you a few things that are going to make your synth building days far more exciting. First thing I'm going to show you is a couple of different style or sounding waveforms. First one is phaser, which creates a sawtooth wave. The first thing I'm going to show you is another waveform, phaser. This creates a sawtooth wave and you connect it up in exactly the same way as a sine wave. There we go. And just to show you the difference, I'm going to play you the first one and then change the outputs and play you the other one. So, sine wave. And let's just get rid of that. And and the next thing I want to show you is how to make an ADSR envelope. So if you double click and select the function box, this is where you'll be able to draw your ADSR, which I'll just demonstrate now. There you go. But there's a few, there's a couple of things you need to do before you start getting any amplitude out of that. First of all, we're just going to send the function box a message saying set range. And as I mentioned in a previous tutorial, amplitude wants to be between 0 and 1, obviously, to avoid distortion. So we want to make sure the range of this function box doesn't go above 1. So that's going to be the lowest point, the minimum, and then that second number is the maximum. So we'll send that to the input. And we also want to use the line object. This is an audio max object, but you can also just delete the tilde and use it as a normal MSP object. But obviously we're working in audio, so we want it audio. So to get this working, you need to connect the second output of the function box to the first input of line and this will create a series of numbers between 0 and 1 that will change over a period of time and automate your amplitude. So essentially what we've got here, the output number here, is your amplitude. The last thing you're going to need is something to trigger the series of numbers. So we're going to use a button or a bang and put that into the first input. But Every time we play a note, we want the amplitude to be played. So we need something to trigger this bang every time you play a note. So we can simply just take an output from the number to the input of the button. So you can see every time I hit a note on the keyboard, it triggers the button. So let's just show you what happens so you can hear what happens. and you can do anything you want with this. So just have a play around. You can connect it up to the sine wave as well in exactly the same way you've connected it up to the phaser. So yeah, just have a play around and see what you can do.